Hello. It's kind of been a while, hasn't it? I wash my sheets. Um, uh, last night. <laughs> Yesterday, rather. They feel very nice. I can tell, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. I can't tell. Is it a coffee or a matcha, kind of? It's a matcha. I'm actually almost out, so I feel like I have to be sparing, but this is important to me. that have to do with like wellness to use for marketing and promotions on like the gym's website and stuff like that and I realized that this kind of hi it kind of seems like it has potential so I'm gonna whip out my camera and try to take a few shots of it Okay, Loki, that was kind of a bit of work, but it was also fun. I, I can finally enjoy my matcha, which is what I made it for. Hmm. The thing about making matcha, it's just very pleasing. Because mine, not bad, it definitely, my semester at least, had an abrupt start, which I cannot complain about, because I was studying abroad over the winter term in Mexico, and then I got back two days before the start of the semester, and I moved in the night before, the next morning I had classes, and I'm actually, thankfully, haven't felt that overwhelmed but it was definitely um, just kind of thrown into it, and I don't feel like I've been as organized. So that's been kind of a gradual process, slowly sort of getting the hang of things, and I feel like I need to take the time to really kind of organize and orient myself. Because obviously, last semester, I was a f I mean, I'm still a freshman, but it was my first semester. We had orientation, welcome week, a ton of things to really kind of ease the transition. And this semester just kind of started. So it's definitely more into my own hands. I don't have as much free time for doing that thing kind of thing. And yeah, I'm actually really grateful. I'm really enjoying my classes so far. and they're kind of aligned with what I want to study too so I feel like I'm working towards that a bit more and honestly I really kind of want to talk with my advisor about um, like solidifying what I'm majoring in I'm thinking of doing maybe a double major but um, anthropology is kind of what I came in intending to do I took an anthro class like one of the thousand level anthropology classes and I really enjoyed it and I got a an invitation from the department based on my performance in that class to become an anthropology major so that was kind of cool because I was already considering it so it's an affirmation of that so that was really um, that was really encouraging and that feels good to kind of receive that affirmation uh, of what of what I'm interested in so I'm grateful for that. That was a pleasant little surprise. And I'm also looking at applied economics because I actually like how anthropology and economics work together. And when I was studying in Mexico, I saw how 
so many issues and topics centered around cultural issues and their related economic issues and that's a little nerdy little spiel my camera's about to run out okay hi so it's i think it's a few weeks later actually i can't remember precisely the last time that i was filming but it's been a little while and progress has not really been made in fact things have actually kind of uh, descended into chaos, but it's okay. Mentally, actually, I've actually been feeling good, which is really important, obviously, and yeah, though my, like, physical space is a little messy, things aren't that organized in my life, I've been fine, and I think having some self-compassion is very important in this whole process, and routines, and rituals are great as long as they're not binding or they don't trap you or force you into this perfect ideal of yourself. Um, it's fine to let loose every once in a while. And now I am excited to kind of get back into some organization, you know? Like, bring it on. Bring on the routine. <laughs> space, I see the merit and the value in keeping a tidy space. Especially, I'm living with people next year, but right now, I can really see how your home is an extension of your energy field, and it feels great when it's organized, so let's get into it. cleaning yet. That's an ongoing process, but I've been getting hungry, so obviously that's the most important thing now. And I think I'm gonna try a little combo that I saw on Instagram. It seems a little, a little weird at first, but I think it's gonna be good. And I think something that's really important is to keep food fun and fulfilling. Try a variety of foods. Nourish yourself in fun ways. Don't, um, deprive yourself of anything, and that's just something that's important to help us do everything else that we want to do. So let's get into this combo. Isn't this one? This is a vacuum sealed avocado from the dining hall. I took a few when they had it, and I've been keeping it ever since. Um, it actually doesn't taste quite as good as as regular, but it's okay. It's I okay. feel like anyone who knows me well will know that I eat some wacky food combos. I will try pretty much anything. So this little concoction, I have to thank Toasted Table, which is one of my favorite Instagram accounts, and it's avocado banana toast, which I think it'll taste really good. I can see how it would be absolutely delicious. Unfortunately. <clears throat> in a dorm, it's just really hard to keep bread and like 
toast isn't enough, and so I'm just going to use rice cakes, which is... It is what it is. Southwest Chipotle seasoning, which is kind of sweet. There's not, it's not that spicy. There's a little bit of spice, so like, I think they'll pair well together. And then some balsamic glaze. I like this with everything. I don't know, there's something about her that's just kind of beautiful. And I mean, it seems like it's gonna be delicious. So. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little bit of lemon juice. Yeah, that's delicious. See? You never know until you try. Bon appetit, though. I mean, it makes sense, too. Avocados have that creaminess, that fat. Add a little acidity with the vinegar and lemon juice. Salt, obviously. Bananas have that nice creaminess and that slight sweetness. This is actually, this was pretty green yesterday, so it's in a really good spot now. Mmm, try it. Honestly, I find that whenever I have a really like delicious, nourishing meal, it makes me feel good. I always feel really grateful, which kind of brings me to my next point of practicing gratitude, and more importantly, writing it down, because I think there are lots of moments in our day-to-day -day that we're grateful for something and we appreciate something, but it's really nice to kind of capture that, because I think when we do that, it allows us to further see more things and kind of reflect upon all these wonderful things that we are grateful for and it just kind of creates this cycle of gratitude and joy so I got this little gratitude journal for my birthday isn't she isn't she so lovely so I'm gonna be using this but you can just you can do this with anything just a piece of paper it's just it's a wonderful practice and it makes me happy to look back today which I had to miss the beginning of because I have class but at the beginning of our meetings um, we do a little short two-minute meditation so one of my bosses sent me the meditation and I'm gonna do it now it's just a video and yeah it's only two minutes I can guarantee that pretty much anyone has two minutes in a day I don't always meditate it's actually something in practice I've kind of gotten out of but whenever I do, it's really nice. And again, it's just one of those things in which you allow yourself to pause and just kind of stop doing things for the sake of doing and just kind of recognize what's going on, which can just help you get a grasp. 
grasp on things. It's relaxing. It's also, it can be hard, but it's something to work on like just for yourself. So let us have a moment of saying.